Dodgers hosting the Rockies, and the Rockies are plus 192 on the money line. The Dodgers are minus 235. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, or if they lose by one, you win. The Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Both of these teams lost the last game that they played. Now, the lines that I just read off are the overnight odds. They're going to change probably dramatically depending upon how people do in the beginning of the day because they're the overnight odds. Now, Feltner did pitch twice against the Dodgers last year. The Rockies were 1-1 one one in his two appearances. Three and a third, no runs, no earned. They lost that game 5-4. to four. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 5-2, to two, and that was in L.A. Now, Grove pitched once against the Rockies last year. They were 1-0 against them. He went five innings, four runs, four of which were earned, and they won that game 6-4. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4 in their 10 meetings. The Dodgers are 6-4 in their 10 meetings. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five five. There have only been two one-run games in the last 10 meetings, one in their last four. The under has hit in their last four games. The under is 7-3. However, the over eight and a half runs is six and four in their last 10. So that's just kind of ironic of how high these overs were in some of those games. Basically because they played in Colorado and they were double digits. The last game they played, the Dodgers won six to one. The game before that, the Rockies won five to two. The game before that, the Rockies won two to one. The game before that, the Rockies won four to one. So three out of the last four games, the Rockies won. All of those games were in LA. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Rockies are 2-2 two two in their four games this year. There's been four runs, 12 runs, five runs, and nine runs scored. The over-under is 2-2 two two in the four games that they've played. They scored one, four, four, and seven in their four games this year. The Dodgers struggled with the D-backs. I mean, division rivals, so if you're going to get banged up. It's probably going to be by one of the teams who knows you really well. The over-under is 2-2 two two in the games in which they played this year. We've had 10 runs, 3 runs, 11 runs, and 3 runs. Ironically enough, the two games that there were only three runs, the Dodgers lost that game. They scored one run, ten runs, one run, and eight runs. The Dodgers are perfectly capable of scoring ten runs in a game. It just depends on if they're going to do it. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line. I think the Dodgers bounce back, and I think they win this by more than two. And I'm going to go over in this game because I just have a funny feeling that this is going to be one of those games that neither pitcher is going to be on, and it's going to be one of those games that... It's very high scoring. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.